Hello everybody, welcome back to the Japanaholic channel. I am your host Taylor Fry, the certified Japanaholic, who also runs the Japanaholic podcast, um, which you probably know that already because of the fact that it's like the only thing that's been on this channel for the past like few weeks, actually for the past, past couple months, it's like the only thing I've been uploading outside of maybe a few other videos or something like that. Um, first off, I do apologize, um, if, like, there's, like, background noises or whatever coming from my microphone, uh, because it is a handheld, it is plugged in through USB, but the USB is such a long thing that it keeps hitting stuff, and when it hits stuff, it produces a sound to hear. Um, usually it is, like, hooked up to a, um, a little thingy, which I can't show because it's too far away from my camera. It's usually connected to this which also has a um, little pop filter thing um, outside of this. But today I've decided not to do it because I kind of feel more comfortable holding the microphone than leaving it set on here, as you can tell. Um, but mainly I just want this is going, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, and I don't want it to be long. But I'll obviously cut out like some of the dead air stuff like I, like I sometimes do with my podcast um, in order to keep you interested. And as well as I'm sorry, I'll say this real quick, about me not sounding as energetic as usual because it is 2 o'clock in the morning as I'm recording this. And I want to get out a little bit of something that I've been kind of keeping in me, in me for quite some time. Um... Judging by the title of the video, you know what I'm talking about. And I'll try to keep this short because if I make it any longer than 20 minutes, I'll have to label it a podcast episode. <laughs> so, judging by the title, you can guess that I've been recently hit. I've recently hit a brick wall when it comes to content. Um, the, I don't think this is, comes as a, like a big, like, whoa, really? It's kind of like you kind of saw it coming in some ways. Um, especially when like the only thing that's been uploading for like the past few weeks has just been the podcast episodes, which some of them have done good. I'll say that much. I mean, they've gotten like good amount of views, not only on YouTube, but also on, you know, Spotify and elsewhere, um, as of lately, which is amazing. I like that. You know, you always want to see something you make be a successful thing, like a successful podcast or a successful video. That being said, um, and I'll touch more about you know, like the, the specific subject later in like, uh, in a couple of weeks with me and, uh, Lee, we're going to talk about, you know, we're obviously going to bring up the topic of YouTube and how much it's changed over the past few years. Um, actually in like terms, not really in terms of like getting monetized or whatever in terms of like getting, you know, popular. Um, so as you can tell by the video, uh, the video title, at least, I've recently kind of like not had that much confidence in me to create content and I don't want to I don't want to really talk much about like analytics and stuff like that because it's not so much of something I should be talking about to like public or whatever but that's like the social etiquette of YouTube but today I'm going to break that social etiquette in a way because I want to talk a lot about like you know, what I feel as a content creator or like, I want to call myself a content creator, but I like, all I do is just make videos or podcasts or whatever and upload them to YouTube and they get like, you know, comparing to like other people, nothing compared to like other, what other people can make. Okay. I've been doing YouTube for, I don't know, like three years now. My oldest, you like, you could look at some of my like older videos yeah, like three years I've been doing YouTube, um, but I've got like nothing under my belt in terms of like good videos or good or like successful videos in that matter. Um, my most successful video is a meme video that I created in like 30 seconds or whatever, um, uploaded on April Fool's in 2019. That somehow got like 40,000 views, but that's literally my most popular video. I mean, another video is about to hit 10,000 views, which is... Um, I which is good, but those, those kinds of videos is something I don't want to make. I don't want to make those kinds of content that those kinds of content or whatever. I mean, the, 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 the four, the one with the 40,000 views, I'll post, I'll post it up here. 
uh, around here. Like that video, I obviously don't want, I, like that one was a fluke. I'll admit that one was just straight up a fucking fluke. The fact that I got 40,000 views off of that. Um, especially compared to like some of the other ones that I made that day. Cause I did like a quadruple upload if I remember correctly. Um, those videos got nowhere compared to that video that got like 40,000 views. And then the second one that I'm in, the, the second one in question, um, I got like 10,000 views or whatever as it's growing. I obviously don't want to continue doing that because those could possibly take down my channel. And the last thing I want to do is work three years on nothing. Okay. Now I've done YouTube for quite some time. And I've only amassed about a thousand, a hundred subscribers, just about. And I have, I'm like, I appreciate it. Like getting a thousand subscribers is not something to like frown upon or like, it's not something anybody should really like say like, oh, it's only a thousand. It's like, that's a lot of people. Okay. That that's a lot of people. However, a thousand like subscribers and interactions are not the same thing. And they don't they're not they're not the same thing in my case okay i may have a thousand subscribers but i'd be lucky if some of my videos like in the in like more recent times or whatever get like you know 50 views if i'm lucky okay and i want and this is just i don't i i i hate making videos complaining i hate making complaining kind of ish videos because of the fact that it's like, you know, why complain? Just continue doing what I'm doing, you know, make better contact. You know, you'll get better as time goes on, time goes on. Um, and I've always had the mindset, like when I'm a content creator, cause I'm a content creator, um, at least in my book, even though I don't really create that good, good of content. But the thing is, is, um, I've always had the mindset where, you know, I'll, you know, even if I'm not making good videos now, I've always had the, the mindset that, um, you know, I obviously could be a whole lot worse in terms of like where I could be at on YouTube right now. Okay. And I've always had the mindset of like, you know, you know, if I'm good, if I could be completely honest, okay. 2020 was not really supposed to be a year that I go full blown on YouTube or whatever. Or like took more time to do YouTube. Um, in fact, like half the content you see on this channel, like wouldn't even be on here. Uh, well, not really half would be all of it. My original plan was I was going to change my my channel to to what it is right now, but keep the content the the way that it was back in March. But I decided to switch over to just like Japan or anime related content or gaming content in some aspects. Um, I, I, I went to that because it fit well, it fit well, obviously it would fit with this channel name. So that's why I did that. But the content that I want to make, I can't make right now. Um, and it's because of one big ass factor, which is I'm not currently in Japan. I am still in America. And unfortunately this year has taken quite a hit on my, um, on everything basically on me. Um, in terms of the YouTube channel, in terms of my plans for literally like short term or long term now that I think more about it, but this channel was supposed to like be kind of, you know, getting up there in terms of like videos that I wanted to make, um, near the end of the year. Um, hopefully that still happens, but the content that I want to make, I can't really make. So the content that is on, on this channel is just the stuff that I can make. Which, you know, I, 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 I like the podcast. Don't get me wrong. I love doing the podcast, but I just really don't see, I really just don't see myself getting anywhere as of lately. Um, and I say this, okay. It's like, I say this, but whenever I look at my analytics page, my channel has done in like the past, like few months, the best it's ever done in terms of like, not only like last year, but the year before. Okay, 2018 and 2019. Um, when, you know, in the, especially in the past few months, okay. Um, and I don't know if I'll show a picture of what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm allowed to do any of this because I don't know what, I don't know how YouTube works, to be honest. I don't think anybody does. Nobody knows how to really do YouTube. You just edit videos and if the algorithm likes it, it promotes it, I guess. It's, 
it's stupid in some ways because that's just how YouTube works, I guess. But, um, to just go on like the main course of action here, because like I said before, earlier in the video, I go kind of like me and Lee talk more about this in our podcast episode, um, which will probably be up near the end of this month, if not early September. Um, I know we backlogged episodes, not the greatest thing to do for a podcast, but at the same time, it is a double upload for this month. So, you know, you still get your anime stuff or whatever on Saturdays. So anyways, so, but it's not that like my confidence meter is like, you know, down be and it's been down for like a few weeks or whatever. It's literally like it, it just keeps going on a roller coaster ride where, and I don't know if I'm the only one. I know I can't be the only one, but I feel like I'm the only one that goes through this. As, especially as a small content creator where it's like, you know, for a few days, for a few days in a row, I'll have those string of days, um, where my mind is like, Oh, I have like these good video ideas. All I have to do is just work them, like get them out there, you know, edit them, write scripts for them because you know, the stuff that I, you know, might as well do like, um, I recorded a skip video. It was kind of like a skip video, but it was just like a short video of a of a highlight that happened on the, the trash taste podcast which you know that's <laughs> not gonna really talk about that just yet probably go in depth on a podcast episode about what i think of the podcast itself but anyways um i literally recorded that at like three in the morning while i was watching the show i watched the latest episode saw exactly what happened like in the skit if you know what i'm talking about and i was just like oh dude you know, this is going to be a perfect skin. I went downstairs, I recorded that little part, and I was just like, dude, this is going to be a good skit. But literally while I was editing it, I was in the string of days where it's like, yeah, I don't know, dude. This may not be the greatest thing I've ever created in my entire life, now that I think about it. I mean, it's only 30 seconds, but, like, you got to make those 30 seconds count if you want people to continue watching your stuff, I guess. So, it's like... I've thrown everything at the book in terms of content to create. Reaction videos, I personally don't feel comfortable doing reaction videos, especially to music. Um, where if those videos get DMCA'd, that's, you know, a, my opportunity to live stream. That's the opportunity to upload anything. And then it's gone just like that. So that's why I was like, they get views. But I would not recommend doing re reaction videos on the long run because if some if you get a DMCA like chain, you're fucked, dude. So I was like, dude, I, I don't want to do I don't want to do reaction videos. So I wanted to like bring them back, but it's like I don't know. This it's just not something I want to do. Okay, it's not. It's like it's that kind of thing where it's like, yeah, it gets views. But it's not what I want to do, and I don't want to do it. So might as well just not, I, you know, because whenever you're doing a YouTube channel, you want to create the content um, that gets popular, sure. But if it's not the content you, like, really want to make, like, if that's not what you want your channel to be about or whatever, you know, you don't want, you don't want to make a video you hate. So that's why I was like, I don't, or like, you don't want to make a video you don't like. Not really hate. Hate's a strong word, I'll say. But... Lately, that's just like to go back on my thing, go on my little thing. Um, I would have those string of days where I would feel super confident, and then I would like have those days, you know, especially in the past few days or whatever now, where it's like I just don't feel like I'm going anywhere, even though, uh, even though my channel has gone really good over the past few months, the best it's been ever since I started doing YouTube back in 2018. Um, it's doing the best it's ever been, but like, I still have no confidence in me. I still feel like if I'm not posting something you know, other than podcast, if I'm not posting anything, then I'm throwing away my chances at being a big YouTuber or whatever. And you know, and then it goes to like another, it's like, it's one bad thing that turns into more bad things that I start feeling, um, especially with youtube now and it's not because of like like the site or whatever because that is a problem in and of itself but the other problem is the quantity of people who are wanting to be just like me 
uh, you know, quantity of people who want to be something big on YouTube, okay? And the thing is, is that with the quantity, there's not really, like, enough time. <laughs> and it's like, it comes back to this whole thing of, like, time just is going by way too fast. I can't keep up with it. Because, you know, when, when you're... Because you, you have... You have to have a mindset where you can work with anybody, yes. But my mindset on the days that I have terrible confident levels is there's so many people competing with me. Not so much helping each other out. We're competing against each other, you know. And I'm open for, like, you know, joining up with other small anti-YouTubers or just any anti-YouTubers in general. And wanting to, like, collaborate, you know, do a few, like, skit videos or, like, something like that. Um, but then there comes the problem of, I don't have the time to record anything. Okay. Literally like, like any podcast recordings I do maybe be recorded like five days in advance, like, you know, almost a week in advance because of the fact that I work part-time job and that part-time job has been shitty lately. And you know, the last thing I want to do is lose that job, obviously, but I don't want to keep, you know, forcing my mental health or whatever. Uh, to go to shit because of work and YouTube, which could be my, could be in, could, could, how do you say it? Combined into one uh, sometime in the near future. Not really near future, but you get what I mean. Um, and I know it's like, it's not an issue that I have or I have like alone. Everybody else would have this issue when trying to do YouTube. You know, they don't want to. You know, they don't want to spend, like, years making videos and then all just goes to shit because it's like, you know, they don't get recommended or they don't catch that lucky break or whatever um, that most other YouTubers get, like, in a few months or whatever. And, you know, whenever my confidence is high, I'm like, you know, I got video ideas, I got skit ideas, I got, like, just ideas in general that I want to make. But... On the days that I have like no confidence, I don't do anything to improve my channel. Yeah, what I feel like. That's what I feel like. And I said this earlier. I hate making videos where I complain or I feel like, you know, I'm not talking to like, you know, I'm not trying to, how should I say this? Like just when it's all like when it's all bad stuff, me kind of thing. Okay. Where it's like, I'm just like complaining about my channel or whatever where people have it worse than me or where people have it you know better than me you know they could probably like look at it and look at this video and just say like man you're a fucking idiot it gets better trust me or something like that who have had experience like this you know um not to say that you know i i've enjoyed doing youtube or i haven't excuse me not to say that I haven't done. It's like I love doing YouTube and I love creating content. I love making videos and like just in general, 2020 has been like a very shit year. Yes, but it's also been like a very like a year, the year where it's like, OK, I figured out what the fuck I want to do with my life. Let's see if I can make it happen. And, you know, on the days that I have the on like I'll go back to this again on days that I have high confidence. OK, I feel like I can easily make videos for like 10 to 15 years okay and possibly get somewhere okay especially in the long jeopardy future where i plan on actually moving to japan i don't know when that is now that i think about it it probably won't be 2021 um or if it will be 2021 it'll be very late maybe like august or not august october of next year which pisses me the fuck off but you know what covid um but you know it's like when you think about it, I'm only 18, so it's, I don't, it's not like I'm about to hit like 40 something or it's like I'm hitting, you know, I'm like on the decline or whatever in terms of like time or whatever. I mean, time is declining, let's be honest, but that's cutting very deep, I guess. I mean, I can go on and on about this sort of stuff, but I'm like 15 minutes into this recording session. Like I said, if I go more than 20, I have to label it a fucking podcast episode. Because I don't feel like people will know the difference between a 20 minute video of me rambling to a microphone, okay, about problems on the internet, 
and a podcast episode of that exact same thing coming out Wednesdays. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I try my best to do good on YouTube. It's just whenever I'm and this, it, <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning, like I said, but it's very difficult to do YouTube nowadays because of the fact that there's so many people doing YouTube nowadays. And I just have, whenever I'm like having a terrible day or whatever, mentally, I'm just like, I don't know if I can compete with everybody. I don't know if I can, you know, be helpful to anybody, you know, be like, what's in it for them if I collab with them or whatever. It's like that kind of stuff and skip videos and stuff like that. It's like, I want to do them. But the amount of time and effort I would make into the videos would just get, you know, get shat on by the fact that the videos would get like 15 views at the most. Okay. And that's only if it gets recommended just a slight bit. Okay. Some videos do really good on the long term. That's cool. And I like that. You know, it, it takes a little bit of time before things start spiking up. That's happened way too many fucking times where I can count like, like, uh, like more than two hands. I can count how many videos started off super shit in terms of views that kills my confidence on the short term on a long term the videos get more and more recommended and stuff like that it's like you know i'm probably going to become one of these channels where there's going to be a video eight years down the line getting fucking recommended to people and it starts getting popular again it's like i don't want to be that kind of channel okay that only has like a specific few videos getting recommended several years down the line because of the fact that they're relevant again according to the algorithm um i don't want that okay i want to make the content where it's like you know everybody's clicking on it right then and there okay and when you're a small youtuber you can't do that you just can't because that's just how that's just how the shit works that's how the law works so, you know, when you're creating content for YouTube on, you know, when you're a small channel, you got to create it with the intent that it's not going to get views at first, but it will get views if, if, you know, it will get it soon. So that's why I feel like I really don't want to do the skit videos because if I work too hard on those skits, I'm going to be like, like upset at the fact that they're not going to get anywhere, if that makes sense. So I think that pretty much covers probably like 80 percent of my true feelings or whatever um not true feelings but you get what i mean it's like it's tough for me to put into words how like i've been feeling lately in terms of like confidence you know i've like the best i can sum it up is i've hit a brick wall with content and i just don't know what the hell i'm going to do for the rest of this year in terms of content Okay, and in terms of most of 2021, it looks like um, there are a few videos I really want to make. I mean, really, really, really want to make. But the, the the thing is, is once I get done making them and uploading them, okay, if I'm having those kinds of days where it, I want a video to be popular, it will not get popular because I once a video is uploaded to YouTube, I feel like I have no control over how a video does. It's a game of chess or it's a game of heads and tails, except it's not 50, 50 game of heads and tails. It's 75, 25 heads and tails where the 75 is it's all on YouTube's end. You know, if you made the, if you made a video, you know, tags shit, that doesn't matter. Okay. It's what our algorithm wants. 75% of it is YouTube's end. 25% is on your end. And you're really not going to really get that 25%. So if you're catching my little thing there, which, you know, sucks. It sucks being a YouTube, like a small YouTuber. And I really don't want to sound like I'm like, like I'm doing YouTube for just fame and glory or whatever. Okay. Because obviously that would be cool and all. But the only thing that I really want from doing YouTube um is just the satisfaction of creating content okay which kind of could go back to fame and glory but my f definition of fame and glory is different from what everybody else's probably is well like what i mean by like the satisfaction is i just want like if i want to create a video like i want to create a video 
and I want to share share it out with the world, I want the world to see it. I don't want like a specific few. I want like a lot of people to do it. Okay. That's kind of why I make podcast episodes because a lot of people listen to podcasts and a lot of people want to be informed about stuff. I just feel like I'm more of an like a informative kind of guy where I like to just speak my mind on certain topics like on a podcast or whatever. But, you know, um, and the thing is, I think another thing, okay, let me, another thing is when you have ideas in your head, okay, and you, you upload them and somebody who is definitely higher up in, you know, higher up in subscriber counts or viewer counts or whatever makes the exact same video and it kills it like, you know, most people at this point of, you know, like, okay, when people have more than like 10,000 subscribers or 20,000 subscribers, that's when they hit that point where it's like, oh, they don't give a shit if this video has been done like 15,000 times already. They're just going to put their own spin to it. When you only have a thousand subscribers, it's not as easy as it sounds. You want to create content that is unique but unique in the way that it's like it's not really talked about so if there's a video of it they're gonna watch it okay now you can try to cover topics that have already been covered like many different times and try to put your own spin to it but you're going to not succeed in those kinds of videos that's just what i've lately been experiencing okay some of my videos where i've put my own spin to stuff get views obviously but videos where the topic's probably been covered like a hundred different times already. They don't really get many views. Now, I, you know, like I said, it's like once you hit like 20,000 subscribers, 30,000 even, okay, even before then, like maybe at like 9,000, okay, whenever you start getting a small following to where, where you know, whatever you publish will get something in terms of nothing. Um, that's when you can be all like, oh, I don't give a shit what the, you know, who's done this or, you know, who's done that. Just upload this. You know, if I'm making, if I'm, if I, it's a video idea by me, I'm going to upload it, whether it's been done before or not. But when you only have a thousand subscribers, you can't. So like I already said, so, so and it comes back to the point. It's like, I've had many video ideas that I've wanted to do and topics on the podcast that I want to talk about, but they've already been covered. Uh, videos have already been made. It's not something I could really do. And as well as it's like in today's YouTube world, you really can't get away with doing minimal editing or like just cutting, pay, you know, cutting off like the dead air, kind of like what this video is. You can't get away with this. You really got to add like, you know, it, it's super difficult to, to, um, in this one, this is where I struggle to find words to put the thing that I've noticed lately is I feel like that my videos lately um, feel more like, you know, they could, if these videos were like made back in like 2011 or 2012, maybe something would happen. Okay. In terms of my channel. Um, but the way that I do my editing, the way that I make my videos in general does to me doesn't feel like I'm in 2020. I feel like I'm in like 2015 or 2016 YouTube. Um, that's mainly because of the fact that I just I don't have much editing um, skills in me as of right now. That could obviously change in the last in the next like th few years or whatever. But one, it's like an issue that I have that's like very nitpicky. Okay, many issues that I have. Like right now, out you know, outside of the the whole crazy person that I am outside of YouTube or whatever, um, and by that I mean on like my fucking Twitter page, you can obviously tell I go a little crazy sometimes on there. But um, it's like this is like one of those issues where it's like you know I don't feel like it's something I should really complain about, okay? Um, because you know that just may be my nitpicky self just be on all like well I don't know about this or I don't know about that but it's like my own content it's like you know I sometimes watch my own content sometimes I just feel like it's not something I could watch but you know a lot of people who um who do YouTube say that if they can't watch their own content that means they improve as a creator okay 
Um, or sometimes the videos just flat out suck. But I don't think my own videos flat out suck. I just feel like they could obviously have been better. So, you know, that just means I'm growing as a person and growing as a YouTuber or content creator or whatever. So, yeah, I think that'll finally wrap it up in terms of like the, 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 the ramble, I guess. I'll have to label that podcast episode. So if you enjoyed the podcast episode, no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of like, I don't under, I don't understand, um, how people can keep a very good mental health while doing YouTube, especially when, you know, they've been doing it for about like three years and they've gotten like little to no luck in terms of like videos and stuff like that. I mean, I've gotten little luck. Okay. I'll say that much. So like it, YouTube screws up your mental health, melt, bleh, mental health more than COVID does. I'll say that much. And, you know, I, I hate that I feel the way that I do. Okay. Like in this video, there's like this entire video. I hate the way I hate the way I feel. Okay. Where it's like, it's not that I hate my own content or hate my own channel. I just feel like I can't live up to the expectations that people set for, you know, specific YouTubers. I feel like that I cannot meet my own expectations of what I want to be as a content creator right now. You know, I want to be, um, I want to create like the good content that I could keep coming back to. And, you know, even like three years down the line, say like, damn, that was a good video. I liked making that video. But lately it's just been like that kind of situation where it's like, dude, I don't even know if I can make this kind of video because if I make this kind of video, it would spend like a whole day editing or a whole two days editing. It'll just only get like 20 views maximum and you know, probably wait like a few months and it'll probably get up to 30 if I'm lucky. But you know, that's just, I, I hate being a small YouTuber and I hate being a small, a small channel in general, uh, not only on YouTube, but on Twitter and you know, the only thing you could really do is, you know, you can't really complain. You can't really, cause you really can't do anything. Okay. You just keep going at it. You have these feelings, but you keep, you suck it up and just say, all right, let's continue, you know, posting stuff on Twitter, posting stuff on YouTube. Just, you know, it sucks and you don't want to do YouTube with a bad mental, mental state. So, you know, it's not like I'm leaving or anything. It's just, I just have these kinds of days where it's like, I don't know if doing YouTube is something I want to do or, um, or some of these video ideas I have is something that I want to do, especially. And, you know, I've even like thought about like making videos like months in advance, you know, like I'm not talking one month in advance. I'm talking like three months in advance because it's like, if I upload these in bulk, you know what, if they don't get anything, then guess what? They're not going to get anything. But I don't know. That's just me rambling at like three, now three o'clock in the morning, just it's about something that's been on my mind for late, like the past few days. Um, I do have a lot of video ideas and I do have a lot of, you know, good intentions with this channel and as a person as well. Um, but lately it just seems that like, no matter how good of intentions I got for this channel or good video ideas, I just feel like it's all going to be wasted with like no rewards, you know? I'm going to work so much for, you know, I'm going to work so much for this channel, but I'm, but in the end, am I really going to get anything out of this? Am I really going to get anything out of this? I mean, is this video going to get more than 20 views? I don't know. Is this video ever going to like come up in the record? If this video comes up in the recommended, like eight years down the goddamn line. And I have to talk about this again, eight years down the line, talking about, you know, if I changed as a person, then That'll be something, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed because I got to work in 12 hours. Another eight hour shift. Kill me. Um, yeah, if you enjoy the channel, if you enjoy the video, you know, show support, do anything. I don't <laughs> All I can say is subscribe and like, but I'm not, you know, at this rate. All I got to do is just keep trying. You got to keep trying if you're on YouTube. Got to keep trying if you're in the same situation as me. Sure. But just know that mental health got to put it, you, you got to put it first. So I'm not taking a break or anything, but I do not, I do not know what, what I want to do with this channel just quite yet. 
at least in the the long jet or the short jeopardy future okay long term wise yes i know what to do short term wise it just may be the podcast and a few random ass videos here and there okay but yeah there's that thank you all so much for watching this god damn long ramble video if you made it to the end please let me know just let me know that you actually watched to the end but who knows thank you all so much for watching good night everybody